Welcome everybody to Just Pew It. My name is Andrew, and today we are going to see if we can actually build a PRS style rifle for under $1,200. Hope you like the video. Got to get out the rifle, right? We have the Mossberg Patriot, and it is in 308. Let's get this guy out of here. All right. So this is a fluted barrel. 308 Mossberg Patriot. This one is the very plain Jane, nothing fancy about it. Let's change that. So, what we have is the chassis system here. This is the MDT LSS chassis. Now, these are currently going for $429, I believe. Um, if you actually wait till around Christmas time, you can get these things for like 250 bucks, um, which is what I did with this one. So, so far, if you are actually calculating any of this, the rifle itself, I paid 300 and, I think it was 329 for the rifle, and then, 200 and I think it was 250 I'll have to look it up again but I'm pretty sure it was around there for the chassis system for the scope we are actually going to be using the Athlon Argus BRT 8 to 34 by 56 first focal plane with some vortex precision rings um, I love this scope. Um, it is absolutely amazing. So hopefully we can actually get some really good zeroing in on here, here very shortly. Now with the MDT LSS chassis, um, a lot of people don't know this, but it does not come with anything. It is just the chassis system. That is it. So you will need to get the buffer tube, regular AR style buffer tube. That's all you need. And then I have the Magpul. Um, I don't remember which one is the, it says the MOE. So nothing crazy. I think this was $20 at Academy. And then the buffer tube was, I think, $7 at a uh, local pawn shop. So I'll also have a little tally mark over here showing exactly where we're at. Um, I do have this pistol grip. It is the Hogue uh, pistol grip. I actually have this on multiple rifles. I love this pistol grip this thing is absolutely amazing so i got that also at the same pawn shop um here in oklahoma it's a uh, called a uh, sooner gun and pawn so if you're here in oklahoma go hit them up they always have a lot of good deals um from mdt you will need i've actually all my other Mossberg Patriot. I've got other um, magazines that they had from different companies and they all just did not work very well. These are the true MDT ones. Absolutely love these. They feed perfect. Um, I've never had an issue with one of these. So got it for the 308 now. And then 
the last and final thing is this UTG, UTG uh, bipod. Um, pretty awesome. It actually fully extends out, but it does not swivel. So a lot of people ask questions about that. It does not swivel, um, but it does have little locks on here so that you can lock it into place and not pull it out. And then once you find the spot, you can actually lock it into place and you can still cannot push it back in at that point. So super, super awesome. Uh, I got these, or uh, this one for, it was like 30 bucks, something like that. And that is it. Give me a few seconds and I will put it all together because YouTube doesn't allow us to actually put anything together anymore on YouTube because if you do that, then you're breaking every single one of their rules. So give me just a minute, I'll get it all set up. All right, so here's what it looks like currently. Obviously, use blue Loctite whenever you're putting this stuff in. You do not want these bolts to get unthreaded. All right, when putting on your buffer tube and your buttstock, underneath right here, you've got to make sure to tighten up that little Allen. It will come with this little itty bitty Allen key. I have never been able to find another size just like this one. If you cannot, if you forget to do it, Trust me, it will unthread and it will absolutely make you mad. So make sure and tighten it up. All right, so if you've ever put together any type of AR before, your pistol grip will be the exact same Allen key down inside of there. Very, very simple, very straightforward. Now we got that Athlon on there. Do not over tighten your rings. Trust and believe you will jack up your scope check make sure what the tightening tensions are do not over tighten all right so with this utg uh, bipod it's actually it's got a pretty sweet system you can actually hook it up to your swivel mount and it'll actually make it to where it has a little bit of an m lock right here and then you can just pop it on and boop all done. So, I believe the total price for everything on here, after it was all said and done, was right around $1,200. And that's everything. I cannot believe how well it came out. I mean, absolutely beautiful now we will be taking this out to the range here very shortly so we can get it zeroed and hopefully it can actually do what i think it can do which is more of a precision style shooting now again i know there's going to be a lot of people out there that are it's going to say oh it's still a mossberg patriot i have a mossberg patriot in 6.5 creedmoor literally shoots lights out and then I have a Mossberg Patriot in 7mm rim mag that has the uh, Oryx chassis on there and that thing also shoots lights out. Um, this one is going to be a little bit different because of the fact that it is 308, no muzzle brake. We'll see how well it does but for that $1,200 mark that I was looking at with everything on it I'm hoping that we can get it in that ballpark of PRS style. Now, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember, just pew it. Thanks, guys.